the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One, and we have a very special guest with us again. It's Erica Arce. Hey, Hello, Erica. Erica. Welcome back for Let's day two. Let's crack Thanks. into another one. Uh, I wanted to talk to y'all about Christmas today. Oh, Christmas. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Christmas. Buying shit for people at a certain time of the year. I know. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've, the question I have for you is, I'm going to leave it open. What don't people want for Christmas? Dingleberries. <laughs> I facts. Well, I mean, that's it's definitely a it's a far. I, I've never thought about that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I've when never, you say dingleberries, we're talking about like you know hairy poop chunks. Okay, in your booty. okay, hairy yeah. ploppers. I don't think I ever want that. Not just for Christmas, but yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. Fair enough. I uh, I'm gonna throw this out there, and this is for any present ever. Do not get people a pet. Whoops. Yeah, you've done that before. <laughs> Last Christmas. You bought someone a pet for Christmas? Yeah. Well, well, it was only what kind because of pet? He, a horse? A, probably. Um, <laughs> no, know. it was a dog. Well, that's because he wanted it. Oh, we'll see that. I mean, but it that was also was... a weird surprise. Because yeah, he was, was like, please surprise. get me a dog. I want a dog. And then I was, and then Christmas came around. I was like, by the way, I've got you a dog for Christmas. But see, he wanted that. He was wanted it. It, was it wasn't it his like first dog? Second. Okay. Yeah. That's another thing. If you already have a dog and you get a dog, I can understand that. Yeah, yeah. But I agree. Don't. I've had somebody buy me a cat for my birthday. Lord. Exactly. And I. You had didn't no, have a cat already. I had no pets. Someone yeah. got me a pregnant hamster. A pregnant hamster. Yeah. Did she? They get off a special website or something? I don't know. <laughs> I just know that I Two woke up one. one morning to feed this hamster, and I pulled her out of her little hamster den and. Eight thing. I had no idea what was happening. Eight little things just fell off her body, and it uh, freaked me out. And I dropped her, and it was eight little babies, like the size of like half of my pinky or thumb, ew. like hairless, blind hamsters. I was like, oh, I got nine hamsters. <laughs> and what did you? What did you do with it? One is nine. What did you do with the hamster? Well, you know. Okay. I don't know, <laughs> but I'll leave it at that. Take it, take it to the pound. <laughs> I had <laughs> I have another gross hamster story. So I had two oh, hamsters gosh. when I was in high school. Yeah. And I came home and one day one murdered the other and ate him. Well, that's what I didn't want to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, oh, it ate all yeah, the babies. That's what I figured. Well, they do that. Yeah, they do apparently that. Apparently, they're yeah, not so. supposed to be in captivity like that together. No. And, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had two and they, they would, uh yeah, they like literally like ate a bunch of the other one. And I was yeah. like, oh. And the one that survived, he lived for a long time. He was exactly. two, he was two hamsters. Yeah, I mean, exactly. <laughs> he had the soul of two. Yeah, he had the soul of two. He's yeah. wearing the other one's skins. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he wore the other one's skin. Uh, like a ma- he wore the mask yeah. of the other one on, on him. Like, oh, oh my that's god! Awesome. You know, I woke up in the in the morning once because there were two left, and like the male mm-hmm. had eaten the face off of the mom. Like a whole oh. half of her face was missing, and I was like, oh, that's something else. <laughs> You yeah. gotta wonder how how their relationships are in the hamster world. Like, you know, what's the conversation that goes on? Yeah. Like, are they living like in this like loveless marriage all this time, <laughs> and they like try to have the babies and try to keep shit together? And then one night, like, he comes home <laughs> and he's like, he's working on the wheel. He's like, I've been working out all day, and like, she doesn't have the pellets ready, and he's just like, God damn it, <laughs> Becky! And he's like, I'm gonna eat your face tonight. And it's, <laughs> <laughs> it is, Gnaws that shit off while she's sleeping. Yeah, you know? it was his mom. Yeah. Oh, you know, it was his mom. That, that honestly, that that's makes a weird sense. Too. Is cannibalized. that an Oedipus complex or is that the reverse Oedipus complex? Wow, I don't know. It's cannibalistic, regardless. Yeah, it's, why, yeah, is yeah, it's it's Oedipus complex to eat your mom. Well, I mean, like the way what you were saying, like they had like a loveless marriage, so maybe mm. like the son was in love with the mom. That that's very true. And then he just went psycho. He just went psycho. Mm. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There's got to be something with these hamster relationships, man. It's weird. Yeah. What's the worst present you've ever got for Christmas? I can't even think of that. I can't even think of anything. Yeah. Socks, yeah. I guess. Does anything stick out? It's like really bad. I feel like the worst gift that you get is something that's not very memorable, so I wouldn't mm-hmm. be able to like. But a pet is probably like the worst because I was just like, get this cat out of my house. Yeah. Did you take it to the pound? <laughs> no, I didn't. I ended up um, like giving it to another lady who lost it. Um, immediately never give your pet to anybody yeah good advice you gave it i didn't want it i mean i didn't want a cat i didn't tell anybody to give me a cat i didn't like this she said that the guy was like oh i really want a dog hey i got you a dog oh wow look at that i was like i like cats i know what i'm gonna get you <laughs> no you're not <laughs> I also like like uh, the taekwondo you and like, like babies. You don't want to just get one of them for like Christmas. Ba- Eve. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> brother, I'm a millennial. I don't like babies. All right. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, I don't know. You know what else I think is the worst Christmas presents ever? Those, um, those like, everyone buys them, and it's all like, hey, there's a three-pack of Axe products. Here's the body wash, oh, the cologne, God. and the shampoo. That stuff makes my lungs feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> like it's growing a pea plant in it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Funny, I can you feel peas that. growing in my lungs. Wait, just like getting like the like the the set makes you feel that no, way. No, there's something about because I had a I had a roommate in college, um, like a studio mate actually, and yeah. he I guess he got the set one time for Christmas, mm -hmm. and he would wear too much of it. Mm. Like I don't like I don't mind if it's like a little bit, but he would like saturate himself in it, it's, it's and I Dallas. felt like like. <sighs> Like it was like there's something in the product that made it hard for me to breathe. I could like see that's that. what I'm saying. And I know I don't have asthma or anything like that. Interesting. I yeah. could see that though. I could see that. You yeah. know what? Yeah. You know what else sucks though? I, I, you just brought me all around when you said that. When yeah, you said yeah. like the little gift bag of like Adidas yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah, Adidas. But axe. like, what's the one where you get like the summer sausage and you get like? Oh, uh, that's good though, bro. Oh. Summer sausage is good. I don't want your little Hillshire tube, Farms. I don't want your little tube of pressed meat. And your old ass cheese in a tube. No, the that. cheese ain't down, no. but those summer sausages, bro. Get some, no. get some chicken and a biscuit crackers. It is not. What about those fancy, um, like metal containers filled with all sorts of like popcorn? The popcorn flavors. tins. Yeah, those. I don't want that shit either. You don't like those? <laughs> it's good for the first day and then it's stale. Oh. Yeah, you bad. open up the bags. Do you ever keep the like, tin? Well, yeah. You when I was your, a kid, you I did put your put sewing like, stuff somewhere. Yeah, your like sewing stuff. Action figures in it and shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or they get like the Tootsie Rolls in like a bank. Like yeah. it's like a cardboard tube. <laughs> I, thank you. Tootsie. Thank you for diabetes for Christmas. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. Or you Very get the kind. candy cane. It's a plastic hollow candy cane filled with Reese cups. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Those You're are actually, those are candy. okay gifts, though. Let's, yeah. They're okay. It was just making me want candy now. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever re gifted a gift? Oh, so many times. Wow. wow. <laughs> Red flag. You're like, wow, thank you so much. So Put it right in the closet. Give me, give me the most I've recent one. I've even re-gifted gifts I've gotten myself. Like, you know, order them online and they don't fit. And then you're just like, oh, oh, oh here's someone else. Sally, look at this cute shirt that you got. <laughs> that you okay. got from me. That was for me originally. <laughs> is, it, is it always clothes or? Is it's it usually clothes. Sometimes it's like okay. a, you know, like a lipstick or an eyeshadow or like something for the hair that I'm hmm. just like, oh, this isn't going to work. Sure. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. Enough. Like if I, I just know. like buy it without trying it. Have I ever regifted? Oh my god, a lot. Uh, I don't know if I've ever regifted before. I don't have mm. an issue with regifting clothes, honestly. Yeah. I mean, just I'm talking in general regifting. Hmm. I don't know. I use everything anyone buys me as a present, no matter what. Uh, I can't say That's that. That's a lot. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I can't say that. Thanks, my mom is, My mom has definitely got me some stuff where I'm like, I don't know what this lady's doing. <laughs> Like uh, I like I don't have anything against religion and like I grew up in that stuff. My mom got me like a bracelet with like the cross on it and with like a what would Jesus do? And I'm like, lady, um. Did you regift it? No, <laughs> Did I you still. I, you know, it's funny enough. It's like when I when I flew her ass out here last time, I made sure to wear it the entire there time. There you go. But now that's some ask. no, that's some bitch behind my bed or something. <laughs> <laughs> like on the floor behind my bed, been there for there months. There you go, protecting you it's from like the wrapped the around four demons. Your, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I'll yeah. find it eventually. Next time yeah. she comes, visits. You go visit her. It's like, yeah. oh, yeah, I got to put that shit on. <laughs> um, I uh, always thought it was funny that my mom would ask me and pester me for months about what I want for Christmas, literal months, and then get me nothing that I told her that I wanted. Wow. And then buy me other stuff. Wow. And I'm like, why did I put together this list for you? And you bothered me about did it for months. She, did she buy you like a steak subscription? <laughs> no, she said, I mean, I did eat all the meat. I didn't have any room for it in the freezer, but I ate the shit out of that yeah. meat. Wow. It's a steak subscription. I got a, a styrofoam box filled with meats. <laughs> it was not cheap, I'm sure, but I was like, God damn, I didn't literally had no room in the freezer. That's I, the kind of thing you re gift if you have no room. Or you invite people over yeah, and you're like, We're having a barbecue. But it was steak. It was good. Yeah. When I did eat it, it was good. Steak. There was something. What was it like apple fritters or something? See, and the thing is is that he actually liked the gift. Mm. So I liked it, but I was like, I don't want me got like the fr the freezer was so packed with food. He like, actually mm. liked the gift, but he you know, so that's not really like a bad gift. No, that yeah. one wasn't but she, it wasn't. She made the I, right call. It should have come with like a little mini freezer. Right? Yeah. You can only styrofoam cool stuff for so long before That's it goes true. bad. Were you getting ice like every other day? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I had to keep it in there on ice for months. It's oh it's so God. easy to shop for guys, man. We don't cash meat or like, you know, like Chipotle. Yeah. Yes. I wish yes. that more people That's what would they call it in me, Jersey, sure. Buy me raw cuts of meat. 
What? There you go. Like, hey, it's Christmas. Here's some chicken thighs. You I'd be a, like, I love you. You a fucking butcher? <laughs> I don't go. want them. <laughs> you just want half a cow or something? Chicken oh, thighs, noted. Good. If chicken I, thigh. if I yeah, bought a house, mm. I would get a freezer and I'd buy half a cow. You know, why not? I actually know a guy who did that. Yeah, my yeah. mom did that too. She has a whole bunch of meat. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I think if I had space for it at a certain period of time, like, you know, you know how you can just like purchase the entire cow ahead of time mm-hmm. and like they graze and you know their life and stuff and then yeah. they get sacrificed. Then you go, you get you get to fire the bullet right before they go in. I don't think I want to do that part. But then, you know, you get to have that meat for a really long time. Yeah, remember? We eat Charlie till we die. I don't know yeah. how comfortable I am knowing the autobiography <laughs> of, of the burger on my plate. He was raised on a farm in Montana. He'd rather be removed. His mother died yeah. young. What if you were to give a uh, a guy right now who's having some trouble buying a catch all type of gift for a girl that he knows or a woman that he knows? Mm-hmm. What would you suggest? Like I said, it's easy for uh, guys. It depends. What? It depends on the girl. I think gift certificates, like any. Okay, cash. If you're if you're creative, <laughs> just cash. You, you basically if you're, just if say you're, cash. If you're a creative person, mm-hmm. anything handmade can be really nice. Okay. Okay. All right. So if you paint or you make things or you're a photographer or something like something that's like uniquely yours that like no one else can make. Something thoughtful. Something thoughtful okay. that's that's just from you. Okay. Um, if that's not the case, then you, like consider the female. Like, what does she really like? Does she like comedy things? Does she like music events? Does she like Sephora? Does she like, like gift certificates, things like that? Going out to dinner, her favorite like restaurant. Like okay. that's like very basic, but yeah, like restaurants. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe something like a, a trip somewhere. Yeah, a trip. A seven hundred dollar dinner. <laughs> All right, a trip uh, somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, All right, fair enough. Go Good to know. Like the Caribbean. Though. Go somewhere for two days. It's funny. All, all, all I want is uh, is is meat and a hand job. But I gotta take, I gotta take women. You on have trip. to make an effort to get that meat. No, and hand <laughs> yeah. it's not free. We're not. Gonna, no, this is not an Andrew Tate podcast. We're not gonna have that discussion right now. I'm not gonna have it. All right, not gonna have it. To be well, continued. To <laughs> thank you, thank you so indeed. much, Erica, for coming and hanging out with us. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, but that is all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe for Jonas. She curbed our misogyny for one week. <laughs> TNT. <laughs> and. Erica. Uh, we're up. <laughs>